Hey guys, let me catch you up here. We had an insane, sort of like never been seen before in a hundred years kind of winter storm in our area. That was about two weeks ago and we were in the midst of having to make some big chicken decisions because just a few days later we had like 29 birds coming to the house. So we needed to figure out where we were gonna house them how many we were actually gonna take at one time. Uh, we were figuring out how we would brood them, like could we put them all together? So we're sitting in the kitchen as snow and ice are literally freezing on the outsides of our house thinking, okay, A, is this ever gonna end and what are we gonna do to get these birds here? <laughs> That's 40 chickens and 10 ducks. Do we have enough infrastructure to do all this? The answer is no, but doesn't mean we can't. They were meant to ship on the 24th. So that is in, now the good thing is all we have to do is just get brooder infrastructure. That would be in a week and a half. Put down in the comment down below, can you brood chickens oh, maybe, with ducks? Maybe, maybe. I say yes. And can you brood chickens and ducks with bantam <laughs> chickens? Enough. Okay, so I had this weird feeling that we were not ready for all of these chickens and the ducks. And it was so much so that I wanted to get with Morgan Gold from the Gold Shaw Farm YouTube channel on Clubhouse. I have are you I like Clubhouse. It's a cool new app. You like get the talk. And we did chickens versus ducks, the debate. And in that, it really wasn't a debate, but I was able to learn a whole lot from Morgan about ducks because he's the duck man. And he said, I would not brood mm -hmm. your baby chickens with your baby ducklings. That would be a big mess. Do you think the 24th, we should just say, send us the birds, we will be ready. Like I'm always gonna be like, yes, let's figure out how to do it. I would say in the next 12 days, we can definitely build another chicken tractor. My question is always the other question. Is this the best way to do it? We need another chicken tractor so that we can have more meat birds. So my thought is yes, that's the best. Okay, if you have to build a second structure, I say build the tractor, a second. For, for the meat. For yeah. a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. Even if we don't get meat birds this first round. And then I say, well, my next question is then where do the ducks go once they're done? Because that's the only thing that we're like, what do we do? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if we, I don't know if we should just say, hey, let's delay the ducks. I want ducks. I if know. I'm the one saying, let's get ducks. That seems weird. I agree. I want ducks. Where? Where the old fire pit was. And I might get a raise. <laughs> you might get a raise, huh? This is our first time raising pullets as laying hens, we are obviously new at everything here. So like firsts are not a new occurrence. They're like a daily habit for us. We got meat birds from Ideal Poultry last summer and I loved them. They were healthier and hardier than I thought they would be. So I wanted to look up their egg layers and I was super impressed. Y'all, I'm going for a gray poultry palette. I know that's super snooty. I know, I know, I get it. But here's the deal. I envision like silvers and grays and blues, but in birds, like a rainbow of beautiful birds. And I do had it. <laughs> Big day for us guys. I know. Okay, we're about to go inside a new place. And we're going to come back with new things. And, then and it's going to be very exciting. <laughs> Little chickies. All right, so we got to take them. I guess we're going into, you don't want them on the front porch. There's no point in that, right? No, we have okay. a We have, we have a space.
probably by two. Why does one achieve this? Mom, look at this teeny tiny one. Oh, so those, oh, so they did separate the phantoms. Oh, that little black one. Oh, look. Oh, we can figure on. out a thing between them. Like, we can just get cardboard and, and that's Which one can I have? Which one can I So as you can see, we did not get the ducks. <laughs> we ended up going with eight Australorps, five Lavender Orpingtons. I'm telling you, they're so gorgeous. Four blue, I don't Cochin. know. Cochin. Cochin. <laughs> and then 12 black Frizzle. Phantom Cochins. Oh, are they black Cochin Phantoms? Not black Frizzle Cochin Phantoms. It's like a girl with two middle names. So I don't know if you can see that. One of the bigger chicks got in this and like couldn't get out. So now I know you got to use the smaller things. This is not going to work for uh, a week or so. So I'm trying to think of like how to wrap this up in a normal way. That gives you a sense of what it's like to do a lot of things for the first time. And I think that's the nugget from any of this is everything that you see us do is like the first time of us doing it, with the exception of the next chicken tractor we're gonna build, because we've already done it. But we only just did that a few months ago. So this is the time where you kind of get to see, like, what's your next first thing? What's the next first thing that you're gonna do for the first time? Because I don't know what's going on in your life, but now you've gotten a window into ours and a little behind the scenes of like, me sitting in the kitchen stuffing my face as we talk about the next plans. So I don't know if that's crazy to ask you at the end of a video, like what's your next first thing? Are you guys doing poultry? Are you still in the suburbs? Are you wanting to step out of what's normal for you and do something different? I don't know, but maybe that's a weird way to wrap it up, but it feels kind of right. You like it?